This is going to be a video on how to connect your Zoom H4N Pro or H4N or H4 with an XLR microphone to your computer using the USB port. Very easy to do. The first thing I will tell you is do not turn this on. You cannot turn it on until you're ready to turn it on. Otherwise, it's not going to detect anything. So if the video helps you out, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, check out the affiliate links in the video description, along with the donation link. Plug in your XLR mic. You can do that. You can either use batteries or you can use the AC adapter. It's easier for me now just to use the AC adapter. Uh, I mean, it's easier for me to not use the AC adapter and to use the batteries to keep all the wires out of the way. This cable comes with the unit. If you don't have one, you're not going to be able to do this. You need the USB-A on this side. You need, this is the older style. This is the, I believe this is, is this the micro or is this the mini? I think it's the micro. It's the weird shaped, really weird shape. They don't use this anymore. They use this on cell phones a long time ago. So you're going to need this cable. You're going to go onto the side over here and plug this cable in. Plug it in in the right direction so you don't ruin anything. And now I am going to, and this is a really short cable, so you're either going to need an extension or you're going to need this really close to your computer. I am going to plug this end into the computer. Plugged into the computer, it turns on by itself now. You have to do it in this order. So we're going to look over here. We get option storage. This is what you would be using if you were copying files directly to the computer or audio interface. So what you want to do over here is we have the scroll wheel. And it's also a push wheel. It's an enter button. So I'm going to show you over here. We're going to scroll down and then we're going to press Now, if you don't find that, you can also press the menu button over here and go down to USB, and you're going to get the exact same thing. So, but you shouldn't have to do that. Um, you want this to do it on, on its own by not turning this unit on and plugging it in. So you want to go. You've got an option for uh, frequencies. I'm going to press the button again. You get frequency uh, options over there. For 44, which most people use, some people might use 48 for a Mac. I don't know. 44 is fine. We're going to go back to that menu again. And then we're going to click, scroll down with that little roll button over here. And then we're going to click connect. Please wait. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the computer to detect the zoom. H4N Pro. That's why it's confusing. So I'm going to show you how this works connected to Zoom with the Zoom. We have to wait. Remember, please wait. Please wait and be kind. And we're waiting. We're waiting for the detection. I don't know if we're going to hear the computer make a little dink to dink We just heard it. And check that out. So what I want you to see right now is we uh, have left and right channel. And the reason we have that is because we are using the microphones up here. I think I want to show you uh, how this looks on Zoom first. Hold on. This is a computer, Windows 10 PC. You will find this on all Windows computers, and you'll also find it on your Mac. This is what, this is what happens when I click on the Start button, and then I click on Settings. Uh, I will get this screen, which will give me the settings for the display, the sound, notifications, power, sleep. So you can see on the top over there we got microphone, and we've also got master volume above. So it's just it's strictly a screen, so you see what Windows has connected. In this case, I've got my. I'm going to click on the arrow down. I've got my lapel mic. I've got my cheapy USB mic and I've got the H4 so it's detecting the H4 but if you see what's going on right now it is using the lapel mic so I'm not gonna well I'm gonna change that we'll go over to H4 now I'm gonna go over to zoom so you can see what's going on here this is 
is my Zoom program. I'm going to move down to the main screen where we have mute. I'm going to click on the arrow down. We're going to get almost the same screen. I've got audio settings over here. Or I've got, you can see, leave computer audio. We lose this whole thing over here. But, and we all, normally what you'll get, well, I'm going to do that right now so you can see. Normally you'd get this audio settings or test your microphone and speaker. I want to get to audio settings and we end up with this, which you should be familiar with. We have the lapel microphone, got the cheapy microphone, we've got the H4. But remember, it is detecting the H4, the speakers on the top because I haven't connected the XLR yet or I haven't made the XLR work yet. So let's go over to H4. Testing, one, two, three. I'm about two feet away from the H4N Pro. Let's see. Testing, one, two, three. I'm about two feet away from the H4N Pro. Okay, let's turn up the audio over here because I don't have the automatic adjust microphone. Let's go over there. Testing with the top microphones on the H4N Pro to see what this sounds like. Testing with the top microphones on the H4N Pro to see what this sounds like. Not too bad. And what would happen, let's scroll back down here. Let's scroll back down over to the screen. Where is that? So if you were chatting somebody, you could click on this arrow and you would get this thing. You could decide which speaker you wanted to use and which microphone you wanted to use. And that brings up this screen over here. So let's get off of this screen for a minute. We have the left channel, the right channel. You normally want this somewhere around minus 12, minus 6. You don't want it to limit. The nice thing about this is when it starts to overload, this light will flicker, flash. But if it's too low or too high, you just go over here, record level, up and down to pick the proper setting for you. You can see we can lower it way down or we can move it up. And now I'm going to go over to the XLR because that's why we are watching this, isn't it? Well, maybe. Well, this is really how to connect the, uh, the Zoom to the computer, but I also want to show you how to connect an XLR.